In order to gain the Catholic Church's official line on sectarianism, we spoke to Ronnie Convery. He's a spokesman for the Catholic Archdiocese in Glasgow. It's a very delicate area um, because we really have two conflicting rights here. The right not to be offended and the right to express one's views. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't envy the legislators on it. Um, they have to make a very close call. I guess the line has to be drawn at deliberately choosing language or music or expressions with the intention to offend. I think that is where we have to draw the line. I think that is wrong. I could say something which is simply an expression of my faith and inadvertently offend someone else. And I think the law has to protect the rights of everyone to say what they believe, but not to directly and intentionally incite hatred of another group. There have been concerns expressed that that kind of legislation could not only infringe freedom of speech, but infringe the right of preachers to preach their message. So, for example, would it still be legitimate for a priest in the pulpit on a Sunday to say divorce is wrong, or abortion is wrong, mm -hmm. or homosexuality is wrong? Could that person be prosecuted? Now, clearly, if he could be prosecuted for saying that, which is merely the expression of his faith, then something's gone far wrong. The law has reached too far. I don't think we're at that stage yet, and I hope we'll never reach that stage, because that would be a kind of creeping totalitarianism of, of, of political correctness, where public discourse was, was so neutered that no one could say anything for fear of offending some section of the population and ending up in court. I think we would welcome the fact that both the media and the executive have taken the problem of sectarianism seriously. Mm. For a long time, it was a hidden problem. Everyone knew it existed, but no one wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it is now being recognised and being seen as a cancer, uh, uniting people of all faiths and none in trying to eradicate it is a step forward. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have to get it in perspective, however. It, it's not nearly as bad as it would have been in my parents' generation. And I, but I suspect it's worse than it will be in my children's generation. I think we're in a process whereby sectarianism is being eradicated bit by bit, but like all wild beasts in their death throes, they can still be dangerous.